Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. As you can see today, we're going to be taking a look at Everest uh, watch bands. These are Swiss-made custom watch bands for Rolex watches. And considering I do have a Submariner 114060, I figured I'd try one of these out. Now, they're basically like a luxurious strap brand. Uh, they're not a, a, what you call a low-end brand. And uh, they make some pretty decent products. So anyway, this is for the Submariner. This is the standard one. It comes in this green sleeve here. Uh, with a bunch of good stuff inside. The strap is obviously inside uh, this green package here. And all of their straps are made of vulcanized rubber, real genuine Swiss made rubber straps. So uh, the quality is very good. I have tried it out for the past three days. I really like their logo with this gold over here. I think that looks pretty cool. And everything is pretty luxurious about them. The feel, the quality, you know, the cut of the rubber is very good. I believe this one is about 235 US dollars. So let me know what you think at the end of the video, if it's definitely worth it or not, and I'll give you my thoughts in this video. Now I'm going to bring out my Submariner, and we're going to throw it on the watch. So here's my 114060 no-date Submariner. This is the ceramic version, and as you can see, I've been using it on the stock bracelet since I purchased it in 2015. Um, a lot of scuff marks, as you can see. I'm not too gently on this watch. It is basically like my everyday wear, or I do wear it a lot. Um, but sometimes, you know, you get sick of the bracelet, the heft of it maybe, or you just want something, you know, more comfortable to swim in or go on vacation with. Um, and you might want to think about changing to another strap. You can try NATO straps, you can try all different types of straps, fabric straps, but you really want something of good quality to put on a watch that has a price tag of about 7,500 US dollars. So, you know, the 235 price is kind of justifiable considering the watch already costs $7,500. And also they do make straps for um, tons of Rolex models, including the older, I believe the older one as well, without the ceramic bezel and the drilled lug holes, etc. They make them for Daytonas, Milgauss, all types of Rolex models. Um, but, you know, I picked a black strap. I'm going to go show you the strap right now. And I'll just throw up a little photo of what this watch looks like. You know, it looks great on the bracelet. I love it on the bracelet, obviously. Um, the bracelet is very comfortable. It's a very nice bracelet, very nice clasp. And of course, you have that adjustable uh, feature here where you can just slide it up and down. So you don't have to worry about your wrist swelling during the summertime. Very nice clasp. Everything is very nice. Um, but it does also look and feel very nice on the strap. So let me show you the strap. Now inside of that green packet, I did receive the Everest strap. It comes in this nice kind of uh, Velcro thing here, which is pretty cool. And the strap is inside, as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and extract the strap. It comes with spring bars loaded already, so no need to worry about that. Um, changing the spring bars from your standard strap. There is the first piece, and let me just pull out this one right here. As you can see, there we go. Close this, nice little Everest logo. So here is the strap in hand. As you can see, it's very smooth. Um, I did wear it already. I did actually put it back in the package just to show you how it came. Um, but they're very flexible. You get that nice vanilla smell, but not too strong, but you can definitely smell it. As you can see here, Swiss made Everest logo, uh, model EH5, I believe that says EH5B. Yep, there's the Everest logo, Swiss made. And the buckle itself is also really nice. Um, definitely looks like something that even like Rolex would make or something like that. It's very nicely cut. Obviously, it's custom molded and custom made for Everest, uh, which is very nice. It feels good. doesn't pull hair or anything like that. And here is the strap. As you can see, very deep cutouts, very close together. And I was actually able to get a perfect fit with the strap on my wrist, which is quite rare from a rubber strap. Um, I've tried, you know, tons of them across the board. Marathon, vulcanized rubber, all different types. And this one I actually get a really good fit on my 6.5 inch wrist. Uh, let me show you what else came in the box. I did also receive a custom uh, Everest uh, cloth here, which is pretty nice. All the gears on there, uh, which is a nice little gift in the box, I think. I think that's pretty cool. You also do get a little sleeve. I believe this is like a warranty. I haven't opened this yet. As you can see, oh, installation instruction, everestbands.com, international guarantee. They even have a phone number, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this is your international guarantee. So you actually get a guarantee on a watch band. I think that's pretty cool. It also did come with a little catalog of all of their products. As you can see here, they do actually make leather bands also that are end fitted for Rolex. And they do do the ones on the deploying straps and all their prices are listed here, as you can see. Um, I think the most affordable one is the standard rubber strap at 235 and they go up a little bit there for the uh, steel end link leather. Oh okay, yeah, nice little catalog here. You also have little pouches, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, 
It's pretty cool there. So that took literally about, I would say, 45 seconds. And as you can see, the strap is fitted to the watch right here. And these are really nice. As you can see, I'm gonna do a little closer here. The fit is near perfect. There's no wiggle room. It doesn't wobble in and out like some of the cheaper ones. And it fits really nice, as you can see. It conforms perfectly to your wrist there, and I'll show you once it's on the wrist. Um, but it's a pretty standard strap. This is the standard black one. Uh, nice holes here, very, uh, very soft, silky smooth, and very flexible straight out of the box, as you can see there. Uh, we get two keepers. One is actually stationary, and one is actually floating. And then there's the buckle, of course. But it really feels, feels uh, secure, and I wouldn't have a problem like going on a boat or a jet ski wearing this. I would definitely feel secure with this. It's not coming off. Um, everything feels really uh, secure, you know, and if if Rolex were to make a rubber strap, you know, obviously they'd make the Oyster Flex for the Yachtmaster, the Rose Gold Yachtmaster, and I believe that came out after the Everest bands were introduced. Um, I wonder if they got the idea from Everest to do that. I'm not sure about that, but um, just a thought there. Anyway, um, here it is. As you can see from the back end, I'm going to show you. Um, really, really nice cutouts here for you to take the strap off. So you're not going to be scratching up your lugs that bad there, which is very nice. Um, very easy to get your burge on in here and just pop it right out. It literally takes like 40 seconds to change between this and the stainless steel uh, 904L stainless steel strap from the Rolex. So very good there. As you can see, it's very secure and uh, nothing's wiggling or anything like that. And it looks right at home. You know, you have the black strap, you have the black ceramic bezel, and the black dial. I think this is the best way to go. And the buckle really does match the aesthetics of the case, in my opinion. As you can see, there's the buckle right here. And it really does match the aesthetics of these, you know, oversized lugs, which some people don't really like on the new ceramic Submariner models. Uh, but anyway, it looks pretty, really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it on my wrist. My wrist is 6.5 inches. Now there it is on my wrist. As you can see, it definitely wears a bit smaller. It makes the watch wear a bit smaller um, because it's definitely, you know, tucked around my wrist a bit snugger, I'd say. I have two holes left and my wrist is 6.3 or 4 inches, somewhere between that. Swells to 6.5 in the heat. Uh, but as you can see, we have the one keeper here, which is floating. Uh, no issues with that. And this is stationary. And the buckle conforms nicely. As you can see, it's cut out here. It comes in, so it hangs on to the strap, so you have no excess buckle, uh, which is very clean. And the watch rides, like, directly on your wrist, as you can see there. It keeps a smaller profile. Um, definitely very good. It feels much lighter, of course. Um, definitely something I can play a sport in or, you know, do something like, uh, something, you know, athletic in compared to the bracelet where you're going to be smashing it all over the place and you know, you're not going to be able to move your hand as well. Very comfortable, no issues there. I can even slide it up and down a little. Um, I could probably loosen up a hole if I wanted it to, if I wanted it a little looser, if it was getting hot out and it would be just fine. So yeah, definitely very comfortable on the wrist there. I have no issues there. Now today was a rainy day, but I tried to get outside and show you what it looks like outside. So I will throw up a little video of me outside wearing it in the rain in New York. Um, yeah, you can take a look at that. Uh, of course, things look much nicer outside. So furthermore, what, what do I really think of the strap and the price of it and what you're actually getting? So it's $235, you're getting a Swiss-made vulcanized rubber strap of really exceptional quality here. I think if you're spending the money on a Rolex, you know, a $235 strap is not really going to break the bank here. And I think it's a great accessory. You know, I rarely really, really like straps. You know, I'll like them for a day or two, but this one stayed with me all week and I really, really enjoyed wearing it. I found it very nice to wear. It's definitely a way to change up your style. You know, sometimes you get sick of these same watches. You know, you wear a Submariner for six months straight. You're going to get sick of it eventually and want to, you know, wear a different watch. You throw in a Seiko or something like that. But by changing out the strap, you really change the watch. Um, you know, you get a whole different feel. It looks different on the wrist. It may even look better sometimes. And I think this is a nice fit. I think if you're interested in upgrading or changing out straps, I should say. I think uh, Everest makes some decent decent bands for the price. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. The quality is there. Uh, they're a very reputable company. I believe they have something to do with Manta as well, uh, which is a pretty reputable company also, uh, which makes Swiss-made timepieces. So definitely some good stuff. I look forward to what they have to make in the future. If you have any questions, you can definitely drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you own one of these straps? Also, there's a bunch of different colors. I was thinking of getting the red one, but I think that would be kind of too crazy. I do know Mr. Wonderful wears a bunch of those red 
uh, rubber straps on his watches. I'm not sure if they're Everest or I don't know, but um, definitely looks pretty cool. Anyway, let me know what you think. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Everest Custom Rubber and Fitted Vulcanized Rubber Band. I will see you guys on the next video. I will drop a link to their website as well in the description if you want to check out their full selection. Thanks so much for tuning in once again, and bye.